Welcome to part 7 and possibly the last part of my Blender video editing tutorial series. In this part, I'm going to show you how to convert your videos using a program called Handbrake. So there's a few reasons why you might want to convert your videos, and one reason is the frames per second. So I'm just going to add in, uh, in Blender, I'm going to add in this uh, video, How I Made Wallace and Gromit, in Blender. Um, there will be a card up on the screen over there, and there will also be a link in the video description if you want to watch this video. But you can see right down here at the frame rate, this video is 60 frames per second because um, I used OBS, my recording software, to record this video, and I am recording it in 60 frames per second. So I'm just going to press Control G to make this into a meta strip, and then I'll just cut this and just delete this side. And now I'm going to add in another video, and this next video is going to be my Martian Landing short film. And there will be a card and a link in the video description if you want to watch this short film that I made. But you can see here, I rendered this at 24 frames per second because it is a 3D animation that I did in Blender, and it just makes more sense to do 24 frames per second. But you can see something is wrong here because the video, this blue one, is shorter than the audio. And that is, of course, because this video is only 24 frames per second, but we have our frame rate set to 60 frames per second. So if I change this to 24 frames per second, you can see that now the audio and the video are the correct length. But now since this video is 60 frames per second, now this video is messed up. Now there is one other way that you could fix this problem. Um, this isn't gonna work for everything because there may be some cases where you actually wanna convert your video. But in this case, uh, this method would work for fixing this. So what I can do is I can click on this blue video strip and press Shift A and I can add speed control. Then I can click on this handle and press G and pull it out, and I can pull it out to the end of the audio, and this way, the speed control is going to make it the correct speed, and you can see if I play this, it does work pretty well, um, and the audio and video are synced up. But there are some cases where you may actually want to convert your video, so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I can use Handbrake to convert one of the videos. So I can either choose to convert this video to 24 frames per second, or I could choose to convert this video up to 60. So I'm gonna convert this video up to 60 frames per second. So I'm just gonna change this back to 60, and then I will just delete these two. Now let me minimize this, and I'm gonna go into Handbrake. So here is Handbrake. Um, I will leave a link in the video description to their website where you can download Handbrake. Uh, Handbrake is a free and open source software, and it works really well. And I am using Linux Mint, so if you're using a Linux operating system, then you should be able to uh, easily download this using the software manager within Linux. So the first thing we need to do is open our video. So I can click on open source right here, and I can drag and drop in my video or just find it in this file browser. And then I can just double click on it or click on open. I'm just gonna move over right here and you can see here's the name. So you can choose a name that you want for your video. I'm just gonna maybe call this like 60 FPS for frames per second. And then over here, you can choose where you wanna save your video when it's exported. So I'm just gonna choose my desktop, but you could also click on this other and then choose somewhere where you would want to save it on your computer. Now on the dimensions over here, you can change the dimensions. Maybe you wanna send it to somebody and you wanna make the data of the video smaller. You could change this. And then I'm gonna click over here on this video. And over here, you can choose the frame rate. So right here, I can click on this and just change it to 60 frames per second because that was what my other video was. And then I would suggest clicking on consistent frame rate because I found that that just works better. It seems like if I don't turn it on consistent frame rate, uh, this one seems to have some glitches and just kind of act weird. So I've just found that consistent frame rate works better. So I would suggest you turn that on. And then if you want to render out the video, you can click on this start. Now there also are some presets. So you can see I can click on this preset button right here and it added it on another screen, but let me just pull this window over here. And you can see if I close these, there's a bunch of different video presets. So one time I was trying to upload a video to YouTube, but I realized that I rendered it with the wrong settings, so it wouldn't really upload very well for YouTube. Um, but you can see if you open up this web right here, you can see there's all these different presets, and I actually used 
this one. So if you click on this, it's going to change some of the settings to work better for Vimeo and YouTube. And then this 1080p is 1920 by 1080, which is what my video was. And then the 60 here means 60 frames per second. So I used that preset and then I was able to upload it to YouTube. I'm just going to change this back to the other settings that I had though. And then I'm going to click on start and you can see right behind me. Let me just move myself over. You can see there is a loading bar right there. So once it's done, uh, you'll be able to add in your video or upload it or do whatever you want to do with it. And now I'll just drag and drop the video in and you can see now it's been converted to 60 frames per second because the video and audio are the correct length. So this is going to be it for my Blender video editing tutorial series. If you've been following along, thank you for watching, and I hope it's helped you to get a good feel for video editing in Blender. If you guys have any questions about different videos or something related to Blender video editing, you can leave a comment or even a video request, and hopefully I can make a video about it if it's a good video topic. But as far as I know, this is going to be it for my Blender video editing tutorial series. So thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful and I'll see you in future tutorials.